Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to show you how to use Excel to mass produce tags or mass uh, make a bunch of tags for Crimson uh, 3 software. The example I have here is I've got a graphite screen and I happen to have a PID module attached to uh, slice or slot number one here. And what I've done is I've created some data tags over here in this format and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to set up a profile for a person and I'll show you here uh, within profile uh, you've got uh, lots of different uh, tags so I'll show you I've got one here mapped let me show you what I'm talking about if I go pick go to the loop if I go to the profile group and you can see here that there are 29 different segments there 29 set points and there are 29 different modes for the uh, batch or not batch uh, uh, what is it called? I can't think of it. Ramp soak configuration is what this is in ramp soak. So uh, if I didn't do the method I'm going to show you, I would have to go in here and I would have to go mass produce. I do the smart duplicate like this. And you can see there's a problem with this. For one, this increments here, but over here it's not incrementing to the next segment one. And then I have to go to this guy and go segment two. And I'd have to do this 29 times times three, so a lot of work. So instead, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete those guys and I'll leave it here. I've got a folder here for segment times, set points here, and segment mode here. So in Crimson, I'm gonna click on data tags here. I'm gonna export this very simple file, and I'll just call this tags. I think I already got one here. And also, right here, I want to make it a CSV file. So I've already got one here, so I'll just go ahead and overwrite the existing one, and I'll say save. I'll save, and we'll save that as a CSV file. Now if I go open up that file, I'm going to go open up that in Excel. Let me make this a little smaller so you can see it here. There we go. <clears throat> and Okay, so uh, you can see here I'll make this is the, the name of the tag. This column is the tag name, and this column B is where it's mapped to. So basically, I need to insert a bunch of uh, uh, rows here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cursor, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight. And notice, uh, well, I can see the problem here. I'm trying to get where you can see. You can't see the row counter, but as you do this in Crimson, or in Excel, on the side, it'll show you that I've done, here's 29 rows right there. So I'm going to right-click. I'm going to right-click over here and do Insert, and that will insert. 29 rows below there. I should throw one more in. Hold on, let me throw one more in here. So I got this. So I got there. I'll do the same thing with the next guy. Is I'm going to go and right here, and I'm once again I'm going to drag this down. And again, you can't see the counter, but on the side here in in uh, Excel, I'll do 30 this time. So I'll right click over here and I'll insert, and that put 30, and then there it is there. Okay, so now we got all the space. Now watch what I do here. I'm going to click here. And I'm going to grab this little button right here, and I'm going to drag this guy down till I get to segment time 29, because there's 29 of those. So I'll go right there. I'll stop. And look, at auto-populated. That's pretty sweet right there. And this was the biggest challenge, was this one. So if I go here and drag this one down, watch this. Here was my biggest challenge in this trick. I go here, and notice all it did was copy. See? It, but I really want it to increment this field here. So over here on the side is a button that says Auto Fill. If I click that and click Flash Fill, and look, team, it automatically populated all of those, which is exactly what I want. I'll do the same thing here. I'll drag this guy down to put in 29 of these. I'll stop right there. Boom. Perfect. And I'll go ahead and grab this guy, and I'll do the same thing with this column once again. I'll drag this all the way down here. Right about to there. Notice it makes a copy. You can use the flash fill here by clicking on here, or you can hit the pull down up here and do flash fill. Now, of course, that failed that time. I'll do it from here. Boom. There it fills in automatically right there. That's what I want. And I'll do it one more time right here. I'm going to highlight this guy until I get down to segment mode 29. There it is. And then I'll do the same thing with this guy. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to drag this guy down to where I get to the last one here. 
right there. And then once again, I'll click this little autofill button, flash fill, boom, automatically fills in. Perfect. I'm not worried about these columns here because I didn't do anything on these. I could have copied them. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and save this file. I'll just save it. Okay, now this is the tricky part. I'm going to close Excel. I don't know why, but I have to open this file up in, uh, <clears throat> I have to open this up, uh, well, right click here. I'm going to open it up in Notepad. And there's something that Excel does different. So I'll open it up in Notepad. Notice here, and I'm just going to go ahead and resave it. It's weird, but I'll save it there. I'll close this. Then I'll go back to Crimson, and this is where the beauty comes in. Look here. See the tags? I'm going to hit the Import Tags button. I'm going to go down here and say go to CSV right there. I'm going to click that CSV file right here, this guy here. Click the Open button. It's going to say it can't be undone. That's fine. We'll say yes. When I get done, we should have a whole bunch of tags. Here we go. Yes. Okay, populated. I'll go expand this tree. Look at this. I'll expand the profile. Here's those categories. Look at here. It automatically brought them all in. And here's the best part. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. It automatically incremented. That's exactly what I wanted. How quick and easy was that? I just did like uh, uh, 90 steps in about two seconds there. So that's a quick way, team that you can use Excel to mass produce. The biggest trick to this, the biggest trick to this challenge is over here in Excel. Um, it, my biggest challenge for this was getting this column here to auto populate. And I use that uh, fill, what do they call it? Flash fill function to do that. So that's the biggest trick. But uh, once you get that down, uh, it works pretty sweet. So anyway, I just thought I'd make a quick video because it took me forever to figure out that flash fill. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks. See ya.